Well, a very good morning, everybody. Today we are going to have a lesson on the chapter five of part one, continuity. Well, dear students, what continuity is all about? Let us have a small discussion and then we'll proceed. Let me first explain you what exactly you are going to study in this topic. Number one, you are going to study about continuity, continuity of a function f of x. Then you will come to further in the continuity problems we have about type 2 model and type 1 model. We will be discussing these two types of problems in the continuity. Now, before we launch onto the problems of type 1 and type 2, let us first understand what continuity of a function f of x is defined as. Perhaps you have already learnt in class 11th limits topic, the concept of the meaning, the intuitive meaning of limit extends to a f of x. Let me recapitulate for you, limit extends to a f of x is equal to L what you must have already learned in class 11, I am going to recap it now. Limit extends to a f of x is equal to L in the sense, here neither x takes a, neither x takes a nor f of x actually attains the value of L. This is exactly what we have learned in limits concept. Why it is so? Supposing that you take a function f of x is equal to x square minus 4 upon x minus 2, the moment you take this function, it is very clear that this function f of x does not exist, does not exist at x is equal to 2. Why? If you substitute x is equal to 2, what happens? Then you get 0 by 0, which is an indeterminate form. I hope you all able to recap what exactly you learnt. You are not supposed to get a meaningless form like 0 by 0 at any point that is being substituted in the given function. If such a form is obtained, then we immediately claim that here x is not equal to 2. In the sense, here this function does not exist at x is equal to 2. Yet again, when we try to calculate limit x tends to 2, x square minus 4 upon x minus 2, we have simplified this as limit x tends to 2. Uh, x minus 2 into x plus 2 upon x plus x minus 2, the factor which is making it a 0 by 0 is being cancelled and upon substituting you got the 4. Here, this was actually the value which we have calculated indicating that where the function is expected to reach that is 4, when it is expected that x is approaching 2. Now, I show you a bit of graphical. Now, if you take 2 here, you create a small neighborhood of 2 minus h and 2 plus h. Now, in this field, my, in the interval minus uh, 2 minus h comma 2 and in the interval 2 comma 2 plus h, that open interval, when x is approaching 2, here gradually all the values of x will be less than 2 and when you are coming from right side, all the values of x is always greater than 2. Now, when x is approaching to the closest point of the 2, the closestness in the sense here, that means after that point, the next step you will be falling on to 2. That is what exactly you have to understand. If I make a simple graph for that, what exactly you can assume that the graph curve is going in this manner and as the value is increasing, the curve is expected to be increasing, assume that it is increasing. Exactly at 2, when you reach, here there will be a break. The break is shown as a small n circle and afterwards it might go in an increasing or di uh, decreasing direction. We are not concerned as of now with this particular aspect. Now, what exactly I mean to say here, this point should have been to come, uh, it should have been according to x at equal to 2, it is 2 0 by 0, which it does not exist in the Cartesian plane. As a result of that, you have shown it as a small encircling indicating that it is a break. 
that means it is the indication that the function does not exist at this particular point. So, the when you come to the uh, same intuitive understanding to the continuity topic, this has more relevance in understanding the concept of continuity. Why? Because if you unless understand this concept, understanding the continuity definition is literally a difficult task. Now, let me come back why it is a difficult task, I will I would be explaining you now. Look at this, the condition is this. Supposing that f of x is not up, uh, attaining any meaningful value here, that means when you go a limit extends to 2 minus f of x, it is expected to be reaching at 4, but approximately closer to approximately or very closer, very close to 4. This is the meaning of that. Limit extends to 2 plus f of x is also 4, it is also very close to 4, but it is not equal to 4. Why? The reason is that if it is to be 4, you have to simplify. Without simplification, you would never get the 4 as the answer. That directly indicates that function f of x exists in interval 2 minus h comma 2 and 2 comma 2 plus h, but, but, but it does not, it does not exist at x is equal to 2 because of this particular problem which I have explained you what happens this continuity there is a break in the continuity of the curve what exactly the meaning of function continuity of a function in a very crude sense in a layman language if I talk about the continuity if a curve wants to be continuous that means you once you put a pen here at one particular point it should continue like this Without lifting your pen, you should be able to draw the graph of a function f of x in a specific interval that is given to you. That is any interval that is given as per the problem. If you fail to construct in a continuous manner without lifting your pen, if you happen to cut at one particular point, that point happens to be point of discontinuity. Please remember, to be continuous, you should not lift your pen. That is the basic understanding. Now, when you come to this particular point, what has happened? In this particular curve, at this particular point, you had to lift your tip of the pen. Otherwise, the later part of the curve is not possible to depict. As a result of this, you can say at this particular point, the function does not exist nor this particular point which is bridging this curve as well as this curve is not existing at all. When the connectivity is not there for the bridge, then you cannot have a continuity in the curve as well. Now, well, we have understood one fact that if you want a curve to be continuously drawn, you need, you should not lift your pen. But it is resulting that it has break, it has a breaking point. So now you have to bridge this gap. Then only the curve will be going to be a continuous curve. For that, what you are supposed to do? Now I am going to modify the basic thumb rule of the limit, the continuity of a function. Limit, limit x tends to a, f of x should exist. Then second thing, f of x at x is equal to a should exist. Further, limit x tends to a, f of x should be equal to f of x at x is equal to a. Now, this is the basic definition that we need to take for, this is the first condition, this is the second condition and this is the third condition for verifying the continuity of a function. You might as well think, my dear children, that why, why these three conditions are necessary. Now, as I have already explained you that limit extends to a f of x should exist. What does it exactly mean? This particular condition lays emphasis or I mean it emphasizes on the continuity of the curve in the interval 2 minus h or a minus h and a plus h. That means supposing that it is the point a in the interval a minus h and a plus h only it is going to exist. But this is not going to emphasize at uh, this particular point uh, which is called a the point where the ex the function is expected to have a break that means the function when it breaks at this particular point the continuity does not exist so the first position explains you intuitively the curve's existence 
to the left of a and to the right of a but not at a itself this is not going to guarantee you that the function will exist at x is equal to a therefore if you want to verify the function's value at this point you have to carry out this second condition that is f of x at x is equal to a now after having found supposing that for the second condition you got some value called k and you got for this l now in the last condition if it has to be l is equal to k it has to be l is equal to k otherwise what happens supposing that this is going to l somewhere here uh, somewhere here you will find the l value and uh, say it is the l and uh, this k a function's value could be somewhere here the k that means this is l to a comma l and it is a comma k then there is no ga gap between i mean there is no connectivity between these two that means the y coordinates are not being located at a particular point the value of f of x is not existing stationary that means not existing at one particular point so if you want to bridge this curve you need to have this as l as well as k if you do not have these two as l and k that is l is equal to k the continuity does not exist so the second condition emphasize the value of f of x at x is equal to a where you are testing the continuity of the function but the third and most final condition is a very vital condition that emphasize the fact of the function's continuity at the point x is equal to a then when three conditions are satisfied then you can say f of x is continuous at x is equal to a otherwise you can never claim that the function is continuous at all thank you well dear children now we have understood what a continuity definition is all about now let us practically see some more aspects of continuity now as i was talking to you when a function is breaking at a point called 2 say for example the same function i am taking for you x square minus 4 upon x minus 2 and x is not equal to 2 having known the fact that the domain of this function capital r minus 2 here it is very clear the domain of the function does not have the point 2 at all it means it is intuitively speaking that at this particular point the function is going to definitely break when it is breaking in order to bridge this we said that what the value is going to be limit x tends to a in x tends to 2 x square minus 4 by x minus 2 is approaching 4 how it is approaching 4 by factorization we have already proved now if if the value of f of x this is the first condition of the continuity second condition is f of x at x is equal to 2 should also go to 4 then only the 1 is equal to 2 is possible if it is not possible then it is a discontinuous function it has to be possible then only the function is called continuous now when this condition has prominent role you have to understand that this value and this value should be equal what does it mean at 2 the function has to attain the 4 then only you can bridge this with a simple line and it can becomes a continuous function so supposing that here i i give you some of the discontinuous prob prob probabilities here. supposing that this value is getting 4 now this value you are not getting 4 example i'm telling you say you got 3 now what has happened this is actually uh, 1 is not equal to 2 has come when 1 is not equal to 2 then we call it as f of x is discontinuous discontinuous at x is equal to 2 now you one might ask sir can i make it as a continuous if it is discontinuous can i make it continuous of course you can make who is stopping you from making provided you can change this particular value the second one what is why is it only i am concentrating on this because this is a one value which is under my control to define as such if i can define this function as instead of f of x is equal to x square minus 4 and x minus 2 
for x being not equal to 2, if I define the same function by adding 4 for x being 2, then what happens? I need not calculate the value of f of x here. I can straight away write it is 4, then this particular clause is equal to 2 is getting cleared. That means here this probable, this particular changing of the function's value at x is equal to 2 helps us that the discontinuity that was existing earlier could be removed. Therefore, as and when this value does not tally with this, then I can say the kind of discontinuity is removable discontinuity. Removable discontinuity. It means I am able to remove the discontinuity. Therefore, I am able to call it as removable discontinuity. Now, the question arises. You may ask me a question, sir, what exactly happens provided? What happens provided if this value does not exist? Supposing that you have taken a function and you are getting a value which is say, uh, uh, say called infinity. Exactly. Okay. When it is, though it is not coming in this problem, be very careful. This problem will not come to infinity. But I am telling you, for example, for example, if you take it as infinity, now you cannot say that the limit exists, that limit does not exist, then automatically limit, if limit extends to 2 or extends to a f of x does not exist, then such a discontinuity, then such a discontinuity, discontinuity cannot be removed. Please remember, cannot be removed. That means this is called, this kind of problem called irremovable discontinuity. Irremovable discontinuity. So, discontinuity is also two types. Removable discontinuity and irremovable discontinuity. When you can say removable, if I can remove the discontinuity and make it as a continuous function by altering the value of f of x at x is equal to a, then I can say it is a continuous function. If the limit of the function itself does not exist at the point, then it is removable. But if by, you might think that, sir, why do you say that it is an irremovable continuity, discontinuity? Now, I will give you a small example. When you take limit extends to a f of x, what you are talking about? You are talking about the function's existence not at a, but you are talking in the interval a minus h, a minus h, comma a plus h open interval. When you are talking about, when you are talking about the physical existence.